What is this game? Hey everyone, it's Abdali here with another exciting episode of Animal Crossing Retrospective, where today we're going to go take a look and explore what exactly is Festival. Now, a lot of you guys are playing through Animal Crossing New Horizons, and you may not have played through the older game. So, today's episode is giving you that wonderful retrospective. We're going to have some fun along the way. It's going to be great. So, today we're playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on Nintendo 3DS, and we're going to adjust our system settings so that we can go to Festival, we can find Pave, and find out exactly what has happened since Animal Crossing City Folk on Nintendo Wii. Plenty of years to fix that terrible, terrible event. Just saying. Anyway, so thanks so much for being here. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, if you didn't already take a look at my YouTube channel, feel free to do so. We got tons of Animal Crossing content happening over here. The previous thing that we did was this one right over here, where we went over and we played Animal Crossing on, on Nintendo Wii, and we did the entire Pave Festival event, which was really great. Uh, we did a lot of bit of, we did a lot of gambling. I may or may not have flipped out when I gambled my froggy chair without knowing. It was really, really fun. So definitely go take a look at that. So yeah, we've got a lot of things happening. And then this is going to be a three-part series with the festival because at the end of January, or sometime very, very soon, Nintendo is going to release a little update and we can actually see festival happening in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I'm really excited to see how this entire event has grown over the years and I hope that you guys will enjoy it along the way. Hands up in the comments if you've seen the previous one. And also, if you didn't already know, like this tips and tricks tutorial playlist has a bunch of fun stuff. We did retrospectives on Toy Day, which is right over here where we showed you all the different toy days. We did retrospectives on some other ones, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. They're all there. Halloween, Turkey Day, all that stuff. Anyway, you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for subscribing. Okay, you ready? We playing this game? Hello, everyone. Hi. It's a good playlist. Oh, I know. Good to see you. It's, uh, it's wonderful to see each and every one of you. Um, hi everyone, what's up? What's going on? What's new and exciting? Hi, what's, uh, what's happening on Wednesday today? You having a good day so far? Good. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Hello. Hi. Uh, I gotta adjust some, um, some system settings over here with Real Isabel, by the way. This is Real Isabel. I don't think you've ever, um, met Real Isabel before. Um, so anyway. Let's go. Uh, let's go to and set the time. We're going to set the time and date. Festival dates are going to be once um, once a year festival. And I have the dates in front of me. It was the same date as we put in yesterday. So let's take a look. That is going to be month two. It's going to be month uh, February 2021. February 2021. It's going to be 215. 215, 2021. And I guess I'm just going to put it at noon. I don't really... I don't really know. Noon is a good time of day, right? So let's do it. Perfect. Let's begin. Hello. Anyway, good to see you guys. What's up? Uh, Gino's in the house. Hello, Claudia. What's going on? Griffin Dork, Addie Bell, Kitty Roe, Blocks, Rihanna King. Hello, Claudia. Again, Stephanie. Okay, the town is celebrating festival to mark uh, the coming of spring. We're all going to dance a samba to shake off the last of the cold winter chill. Interesting. So if that's what festival is, why are we celebrating it in late January in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Oh man, don't look at my hat. Oh uh, yeah, hello everyone. What's going on? Shout out to the mods as usual. I saw Justine floating around. I see Christy, J-Mac. Uh, we have Alana. Hello. Thank you so much for hanging out today. You guys are wonderful. Uh, good to see you. Anyway. So attention residents, today is Festival. And that's it. Okay, I have a feeling I'm going to need a net for this one. So let's actually see what's going on in the world of Festival. I think I got a little area where I put all my tools. Um, is this a bug net? A golden slingshot? Golden can, uh, a timer. Oh no, where's my golden net? A megaphone, oh no, dude. I used to have like every, every golden tool. Are you crazy? 
There's some, oh, dude, I got some candy. Oh, dude, I got candy from Halloween, man. You guys don't even know. Oh, my gosh, this is interesting. The things that I still have in my inventory is just really hilarious. So I have a whole bunch of candy. Um, and, you know, forgive me, like, normally when I play Animal Crossing games, I don't just throw trash all over the ground. Don't look at the DIYs on my beach. Don't. Um, but I don't, I don't, like, throw trash all over the place, right? Like, I don't do that. Um, but, you know, this Animal Crossing town has, is age old, and honestly, I don't really feel like cleaning up. So I'm just gonna throw them on the ground. Hey, hands up in the comments if you do that in your, in your island. That's a ghost mask. What is this? That's a golden ass axe, man. Yo, kiss my axe. All right, let's move on. All right, where is it? Where is my net? No, no, no net, dude. I think I'm just gonna have to go get a net. All right, let's go buy a net. Yo, did you see Marshall? What are you wearing? Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Now it's just someone that I used to know. You're right. Let's go get a net. Dude, get this thing off of me. Hold on, hold on. I have to be me. You know, this is one of the things that we need in Animal Crossing. We need the me mask because that me looks like me. Kind of. And he's wearing the A shirt, right? A. How many guys have an A shirt? And do you still wear it? Hmm, very curious. Um, let's go. I need a net. Dude, can I not buy a net? Guys. Guys? How do you get a net in Animal Crossing? I'm, I guess I'm just gonna look around. Dude, what if you didn't have a net and it was Festival and you were a traditional player? Ew! No, don't look at that clown. All right, all right, so what if? And your net, dude, the tools break in Animal, what are you doing? Get out of here, ants, look at that. All right, dude, where the heck is my net? Dang, I should have prepared. I should have booted this game up and like set myself up for uh, success over here. Oh, oh, what do you know? Ask and you shall. Ask and you shall receive, yoing. All right, let's go, look at this cool dude. Yo, a golden net, man, it actually sparkles sometimes too. All right, we're in business. I was just messing around about not Preparing for this live stream at all. No, man, I knew this. Well, we meet again. Hey, Pave. Do you remember me? Yeah. The candy. Oh, man. And the forced gambling you made me do. Yeah, yeah. You made me very uncomfortable. I lost my froggy chair. Freckles stole my froggy chair, and I will never be the same. I will never, ever forgive Freckles. But anyway, look at this fool. Does the same dance, except for like those legs though. Hold on, hold on. Take a second to look at Pave's legs. Like really zoom in. Like there is absolutely no way any of you guys at home can do that with your knees. Like you can't be bending down that squat position and just like move in a circle the way Pave is doing. Pave is very, very crazy. Anyway, Katie Fan, 1998. Hey, thank you so much. Glad to have you, Katie Fan. All right, glad to have you. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, Katie Fenn. 1998. What year were you born, by the way? Anyway, moving on. All right, Pave. Mm, and woohoo! One and two, three and four. What is wrong with your hips? Why do they not move with the rhythm of the music? How can you stand next to the glory that is Pave and not be gyrating? Yo, you don't know how I gyrate. Yo, he's going insane. And now he does a little jump? That's actually really good. Pave's moves are really good. Viva Festival! Okay, hi, nice to meet you. Have you heard of Pave? Yes, Pave is festival dancer extraordinaire. Festival comes but once a year, yet the music of life is always playing. And yet still no dance? Why do you not tap your feet to the rhythm that is Pave? Did you not hear Pave? Today's the day of festival, dude. I'm right here. Listen to ba listen to Pave, Mr. No Dance. Must dance or catch a cold. What? 
You gonna sneeze on me? Pave has an idea for Mr. No Dance. Since you're allergic to the groove, how about you help Pave instead? Pave saw beautiful feathers, not so beautiful as Pave, no, but they were floating in the sky. Pave swears on Pave's own tail, feathers, uh, on the, his own tail feathers, they were all the colors of the rainbow. So will you gather up the feathers that Pave is wanting? It's simple. Pave is genius, no? If you bring Pave woohoo feathers, you who get woohoo to who. Wow. <laughs> wow, the writing. Oh my gosh. Oh, Pave needs to caress the the caress of the purple feather. It yearns for Pave's touch, demands it. You heard Pave, bring Pave the purple feathers. For what? Why am I working for you? You called me Mr. No Dance. And I'm very good at dancing. I'm very good at dancing, my guy. Alright, you know what? Let's go. He says, bring me the purple feathers. Meaning, plural. Obviously more than one. Are we going to have to find three of them? I don't know. So let's look around and see if we can find some feathers. Ooh, is that a purple feather? What the heck is a purple feather even look like? Pave, dude. Pave is the worst. All right, anyway, what are your first impressions of Pave? What are your first impressions of Pave? What are you thinking of Pave? Pave's good? Does he kind of feel like the same guy he was back on uh, City Folk? What do you guys think? Talk to me. Where the heck am I? Oh my gosh, are you Pave? Yo, you can dance like Pave. You can't, that's Pave's girlfriend. That's Faye Bay. <laughs> That's Fei Bay. Okay, Pave's girlfriend. Hello. You left without saying a word to anyone. Hey, hey, two months. Hey, don't worry, man. Chill. I'm okay. I'm doing well. Thank you. Although I didn't get my afternoon chocolate shake yet. Mm, I should have prepared that before the stream. There are lots of different colors, so it kind of gets confusing, but just grab as many as you can. How? Do I get them from like... Oh my gosh, I think I see one. Yo, Pave! Hey, got a red feather. It's the passion of fire. Oh, man. Dude, you know what that means, right? That means that I'm going to need to drop a bunch of stuff on the ground, man. I'm so, so neat in the world of Animal Crossing. Hey, don't don't judge me. Don't, don't judge where I'm putting my stuff. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Pave, pave. So you guys enjoyed Pave, huh? Oh, look at Brewster. Remember Brewster? Oh, man, dude. Brewster, though. Ew. No, thanks. I'm going to walk right past that. <laughs> so now, instead of... Oh, hey, Marshall. I mean, uh, not Marshall. Callie's got those pepperoni cheeks. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, pepperoni cheeks. Wow, dude, you love... I know someone that loves pepperoni pizza the most. Yo. If you were to if you were to say your absolute favorite pizza, someone that I know would say, like, pepperoni. That big pepperoni cheeks. Oh, that's too funny to me. That's absolutely too funny to me. Anyway, let's uh, let's continue on. I've got to find some feathers. Yo, here's a snob. Uh, no, nah, we don't need a snowball. Dude, this is... Okay, this is actually really rough. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to respawn. We're going to say hello to Isabel really quick. And then we're going to respawn the area and hopefully... Uh, hopefully go. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so here we go. Right now in the comments. If you had one pizza. If you had one pizza, what pizza topping would you have on your pizza? Go. Prepare to get judged. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> one pizza ingredients. Okay, here we go. A topping. And cheese doesn't count. No, no, no. Cheese is the base. You gotta have cheese on a pizza. Alright. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Sweet corn, Victoria. Really? That's your go-to pizza. Sweet corn. That's amazing. I love sweet corn. 
Mmm, tuna on a pizza, J-Mac? No, I've never had that, but here's a purple feather for you. I go. Dude, tuna on a pi tuna pizza? I've never had that. I'm intrigued. Is that like sashimi tuna? Like those big, fatty, red pieces of, like, sushi tuna? Or are you talking about, like, canned tuna that you'd, uh, you know, throw in, like, a little casserole or something? Talk to me. Okay, you have a purple feather, but Pave is high maintenance. Pave only gives rewards for three of those. Either Pave forgot to mention, or Mr. No Dance wasn't listening. Oh, man, I get that a lot. Yikes! Hey, man, chill. I know for a fact that I was listening this time around. I'm focusing. I'm doing better. I promise. I don't have a million things to focus on, Pave. It's just you and me, Pave, man. We're good. We're gonna be fine, Pave. I got you. I will give you all the purple feathers you can possibly dream of, Pave. Holy moly! Yo, it's a shiny Pokemon. What the heck? Okay, that was kind of cool. Yo, I just ran through my gold roses. And that's a no-no in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Be oh! In Animal Crossing New Leaf, if you run through flowers and they disintegrate, they will 100% not come back. They don't grow back. Like, it's not a thing. Alright, so yeah, those pizza toppings are actually pretty cool. Um, you guys had a lot of pizza variety in the chat here. Barbecue chicken pizza, Brooks? DIY home? Yeah, oh my god, I love barbecue chicken pizza. That's my jam. Some of you guys don't even know the, the taste of a barbecue chicken pizza. Mmm. -hmm. You know, I haven't had pizza in ages. I should really get a pizza. Go to Costco, get a take and bake. Ooh, yeah, that's a white feather. Tyler, this is your first live stream? Hey, welcome. I'm so glad you tuned in. What made you tune in? I have some chicken that I gotta eat. I made some chicken the other day. Chicken, mashed potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. It's pretty good. I basted the chicken in a Carolina gold barbecue sauce from Trader Joe's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I made, like, roasted little, little potatoes from Costco, and I had Brussels sprouts. Roasted Brussels sprouts. They're good, man. That's where it's at, dude. Yeah, so that was my that was my carb and that was my veggie too. It was fun. Dude, ugh, I don't know where these feathers are, man. This is actually painstaking. Shreddy. Oh! How many colors of feathers are there? Come on. We gotta start a cooking show. Yeah, I know. With this electric stove that I got? Oh man, I'm the master of this electric stove. Ugh, nope. You know what's weird about the electric stove is that yes, I accidentally left it on one time. 100% full disclosure. I 100% left my electric stove on with a pan on top of it because I, I was heating up tortillas one day and I'm, I'm not used to it. Like I, I cook on a gas range. And, like, I can see the flame, right? And boom, left it on. And then I'm like, hmm, something smells like, uh, something smells like cooking. And I said, I did, like, a real-life poggers face. Like, oh, <laughs> real-life poggers. And then, out of nowhere, um, the, uh, the burner was still on. And, I mean, it didn't, like... It didn't, like, smoke up the house. It didn't burn the place down. It just, like, heated up. It, like... Hi, Isabel. It just heated up the pan. So it was all right. Whatever. Not a big deal. I just got to make sure I remember. It's something to get used to, right? No, the pan is perfect, dude. The pan is flawless. If I left the gas on, like, the gas light on, like, medium or whatever, I think the, the, the pan would be roasted. But no, no. The pan was fine. It was good. It was a good nonstick pan. Guess where I got it from? <laughs> Oh man, true people that know me know exactly where I got it from, huh? Where did I get my frying pan from? I bet you'll never guess. Hmm. I bet you'll never guess. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder, right? Oh man, dude, I drank too much of that Kool-Aid growing up. 
<laughs> I got it from Target with my knives. <laughs> Heck no. Absolutely not. Absolutely got it from Costco. Go, man. Dude. What can I say? Costco is just simply the best. Gotta go to the Costco in Langford, man. It's only, uh, it's only like 15 minutes away. Let's go. Let's make a trip to the Costco. And hit it up. Yo, some of you guys have never been to Costco before. Alright, let me indulge you. No, I'm kidding. No, we're not gonna talk about that. Um, I'm just actually looking for these feathers over here. So, let's, uh, let's find a feather or two or three. This is actually annoying. All right, so now that you guys are seeing the first-hand impressions of this, what are we thinking? Can you get feathers any other, any other way? Like, do, can I talk to villagers and get feathers? You, talk to me. Wait, is that you? Yeah, don't talk to me, Joey. Yo, Joey's got lefty eyebrows, man. Here. Oh! No! No, I'm not playing games! Absolutely I'm not playing games. Nah, son. Dude. Huh. Absolutely not. Get a load of this guy. Yo, he's like, yo, you wanna play some games? Pfft. I learned my lesson the hard way playing games. Yeah, if I win, I get one of your feathers. Nah, kid. Joey? You got another thing coming, Joey. Have you met Freckles? Wait, what? What do you mean? Alright, let me shred these really quick. I need a little area to put my feathers. All right, so I'm gonna make like little stashes. I think this is the only way to do this game. Here's like a red. Oh, and a rainbow feather? You're crazy. That's a golden rod, dude. Joey's gonna try to steal my golden rod. I'm not, dude, fool me once, right? Shame on you. Santa pants and Santa boots? Nah, man, get these out of here. And what is this? A Wii U console? Huh, <laughs> okay. What you know about the Wii U? Get it out of here. All right, so now my inventory is emptied, right? I have my golden net that's in my inventory and I'm holding it, so I don't think he's gonna steal it from me. But uh, let's go over to uh, Lefty Eyebrows over here and destroy him in his own game. And then we'll be able to see, ooh, sorry buddy. <laughs> I'm just trying, I thought it was a green feather, man. Uh, what, what can I say? I just thought it was a green feather, my guy. All right, here we go. They're floating around, so go get some for yourself. Uh-huh, that means uh, someone's gonna get down. All right, I'm not what you call it. Okay, okay. Well, he doesn't want to play a game since I said no to him. What about these other ladies? Hey, ladies. Ladies! Yo, Pave's girlfriend. Where did you go? Ugly looking frog. Puddles. It's the ghost of Abdallah. Run away. Yeah, yeah, I get it. My complexion is rather pale. But you don't have to call me a ghost. Puddles. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, when it's festival, come on, let's dance, dance, dance. Uh-huh. Dude, come on. Ha Leave the dancing to me. Okay. What? How am I not? You can't play the game without the feathers? Well, that's terrible. Why would I want to gamble feathers? I did so much gambling in the previous game. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we gamble? You know, knowing Pave, he's going to ask me for the feather that I lost in a in a bet. 
He's gonna ask me for the feather color that I lost in a bet with these clowns. You think I wanna do- I don't! Uh, ooh, I'm gonna sit on a rock, apparently, okay. Yeah, I've got the best luck. Or, I've got the best comment section. Either way, man. We got a great comment section here, man. You guys are right 100% of the time. See, that's what you don't know. It's amazing, and I love it. You guys are the best. All right, Yellow Feather. Hey, Olivia. Hope you're enjoying Washington State, which is also your home. Have an awesome day. Well, Olivia, of course. Things are good. Thank you for the super chat. If you're not a member, consider becoming one. I hope you're having a great day today. Whoa. There it is. Yeah, hit it. Okay, so I got a yellow feather. I'm just gonna dip. Okay, you guys said you wanted, you guys wanted me to try to gamble, right? Because it's exciting to watch someone else lose their hard earnings, right? You know, that was one of the things too, when I was in Vegas, and I don't know if that's rude, but I was watching people gamble in Vegas. Is that, hold on, you tell me right now, is that considered rude? Is that considered rude? Do you have to just like avert your eyes and like make sure that you don't watch them? And like, so I, I would be like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's exactly how I was in Vegas. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't really watch them, but like I would walk through, you know, the casino because the hotel that I was in was in a casino. And I would walk through and like, of course, I'd like do like a little passing gaze just to see what's up. But I wouldn't like hide in the corner and just like watch them for entertainment. No, I think I think that would be considered rude. I don't think that's socially acceptable to watch people lose their money. <laughs> and you guys are going to do exactly that and watch me lose my uh, my feather. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the 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 smoke inhalation in in that specific hotel that I was in was so bad that like literally I was like this man. I'm like yo, or at least holding my breath, not looking like a fool, right? You would look like a fool if you did this, right? But like I would, as I'm walking through the casino part, I would legit hold my breath because it was that bad. How's that legal? Boggles my mind. All right, here we go, Joey. Let's play a game. Let's play a game, Joey. I miss you, Joey. Those eyebrows, man. All right, here we go. Okay, you guys wanted me to gamble, so we're gambling here. I'm putting up a feather in order to get a feather at a game of chance. So this is 100% gambling. I don't know how it's acceptable in this game, but you better believe that this is going to get tweaked in Animal Crossing New Horizons. You're not going to be able to gamble at all. I will put money on it. <laughs> That's so funny and ironic. I said, I'll put money on it. They're not going to force you to do, do this and then lose your stuff at the end of it. Uh, I'll put, I'll bet you right now. <laughs> uh, anyway. Okay, get ready. Here we go. We're going to play a game of rock, paper, scissors. Have you guys ever heard of it? It's an age-old tradition. We'll play once and lay it all on the line. If we throw out the same thing, it's a do-over. Okay, so give me, give me three. Give me three options for rock, paper, or scissors, comma separated with a period at the end. Go on. I'll wait. Oh, man. Yo, remember Metopia rock, paper, scissors is my favorite. Christina, oh my gosh, your money. Don't look at that balloon, by the way. You see it? You see it flying over there? All right. Okay, we're going to do this, comma separated. Arcadia plays, good to see you. Arcadia plays, says rock, comma, rock, comma, paper. Ooh, no period at the end. Yikes. Gonna have to dock points for that one, Teach. That's okay. I'll still do it, though. You're good. Rock, rock, paper. Ready? On one, two, three. I'm going rock. One, two, three, shoot. Rock. Ooh, nice one. Okay, okay. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Well, good job, Arcadia Plays, you did it. So that means I win the game, thanks to you. Hmm, 33% chance, excellent work. You're pretty good. I guess this purple feather is, is yours now. Ooh, look at this, let's go. We have three purple feathers, folks. I don't know if you noticed, but it's time for Pave. 
Uh, next time I'm gonna win, mark my words. Okay, well, I'll put up the yellow feather later, but we gotta go get these perps. We got, ooh, get the snob out of here, man. You're in my path. Okay, this clown. All right, so this is a perp. There's another perp. Yo, I think, I'm, I'm curious if the game actually gives you the feather that you want, but notice this. Notice that the odds of you winning are incremental right now. Because in the previous game in Animal Crossing City Folk, you had to play rock, paper, scissors like three rounds. And if you didn't win one of those, you lost. So this is a lot better. It's a 33% chance versus a 33% chance times three. You had to jump through three hoops in order to win. So the devs have eased up on the gambling aspect a little bit. But let's see what's up. You still do not dance? Less talk, more gyrate. Okay. Oh, Pave can see it in your hand. You brought Pave three perfect purple feathers. Can Pave have them? Pave mean give them to Pave. Okay, that escalated. Well, what are you going to Ah, uh, sure. And then the op the other option is no way, man. <laughs> Pave wants, Pave gets. Oh my, look at you, big guy. Ooh. Here you go. And that's clearly a red... F oh, because the feathers icon is th like green, blue, red. This is it. There is no other. Are you ready? Okay, do you guys remember the little song and dance that Pave says? Woo-ha! Wait, wait. Pave is great. Let Pave see your hips gyrate. Passion. Festival. Whoa. I don't think I was ready for that. Pave is passionate about the dance. And in turn, the dance is passionate about Pave. Pave likes you, so Pave gives you a Pave clock. Huh. Okay. What should Pave touch next? Uh. Mm, keep your hands to yourself, Pave. Ooh, Pave will touch blue feathers. Oh, okay. That's what you're talking about. Okay, good. Gotcha. He's trying to touch blue feathers. Okay, understood. Uh, Pave! Ooh, if you give Pave a rainbow feather, you believe he will give you a piece of furniture? Ooh, all right, all right. Well, I take bets on I believe sentences, 100%. Let's go. There's a blue feather. This is a rainbow feather. All right, let's, let's see what he says about the rainbow feather. That was a pretty rare one. You just gonna give me one outright? Because it's the rarest thing? Do you have feathers for Pave? Oh! Pave cannot believe his eyes. Is Pave seeing a rainbow feather? Hey, the kitty Robux, you got it right. So nice, so grand, so Pave. Can Pave have it? Mm, sure, or no, it's mine. Give it to Pave, give it now. Oh my gosh. Yes, the touching of the feathers. So feathery, woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo -hoo. Pave is... Glorious! Look at his eyes. We dance, we play. So say Pave! Hey! We bounce and sway. Shout with Pave! Viva Festival! Wow, that, that's a little... I uh, remember that from the other day. That's what he says in the old game. Coo, 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 coo. Pave not stop. One and two. Hey, now you. Three and four. Ready to roar. Whoa, okay. Viva Festival. Wow, okay. I'm, uh... Oh, wow, this is good. I need these emotes in, like, a reaction. Ha, ha, ha. Per, perfect. Pave only danced so well thanks to Feather from Little Mr. No Dance. Pave thanks you. Take Pave bookshelf now. Does it come with a book on how to do those dances? Because that was extreme. What woohoo feather does Pave want next? Oh, Pave, no. Blue feathers. You must bring to Pave. Wow. Okay, I need to catch my breath off of that one because dude's dance moves was literally taking my breath away. Like, no joke. Rated out of 10 right now, all of you guys that are watching. What did you expect? Like, what did you think? That was amazing. Dude, Rainbow Feather on Pave is like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was, it was glorious. And his font... His font was even in rainbow colors. That's never happening in Animal Crossing. Dude, I swear if in Animal Crossing New Horizons they don't do something like that where you can find a random, like, feather that's rainbowed, 
I'm gonna be pretty upset because that was glorious. It's really good. All right, I gotta do some gambling. Let's go find this dude. Tch. Why try to work your way through life when you could just gamble to win? <laughs> Duh. That's the appeal. Give me that. Ooh, right off her head. <laughs> yes, that's Joey. Sorry. Oh my gosh, yo, that was a rebound off of Joey's noggin. And what is this guy, yo? Give me my space. The heck, man? No one likes that guy. I'm gonna give you a badge. No, no one asked for you to exist. Come here, Joey. Dude, I got two yellows, though. I don't know if I want to give him a yellow. Alright, let's gamble a yellow. Here we go. Alright, let's go. Okay. So here we go. Oh, don't I look cool today? Yeah, you look very cool. Is that a yellow feather? I want one of those so bad. I have a blue feather. Will you trade it with me? <gasps> yes, Joey. Yes, I will. Here. We didn't even have to play a game. This is just a gentleman's exchange. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Joey. Forget what I said about your eyebrows being lefty eyebrows, dude. You got you got pure righty eyebrows, man. And sorry I hit you on the head. That was cool. That was legit cool. I didn't have to play a dumb game. Ooh! Look at this. Oh. That was cool, man. Joey's actually pretty decent. I mean... He's all right. What's this one? I gotta, I gotta color coordinate. Red feather, white feather, pinks, blue. Okay, so I got a blue. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my blue down. Right here, there's blue. I do need to like make little stockpiles. Shred them, man. Sorry, I know that my villagers actually planted these, but I'm the mayor. And I can do what I want, so... I'm the mayor! Yo, I'm the manager! You know about that. Alright, anyway. Alright, yo, I'm the mayor. Alright, get ready. Uh, let's go find someone and, and uh, see if they wanted to trade. So the game is leaning towards what Pave wants. I'm thinking that that's in the algorithm of the data coding, where Pave says a color, and then the algorithms based off of the flow charts of these Animal Crossing villagers are more geared. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. Oh my god, I'm really sorry. I'm trying to talk to you. Anyway, um, I think that the algorithms are, the flow charts are based towards giving you the feather that you're supposed to get. So anyway, get ready. We're gonna gamble our yellow feather for a blue. Watch. Then let's play. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, give me three. Comma separated with the exclamation mark at the end. See who's actually paying attention. Go! We're only playing one round, so it's winner takes all. Ooh, you got a 33% chance. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, Sherry. Paper, paper, rock, exclamation mark. Good job, you listened. And so did Legend. Good job. So we're going paper, paper, rock. All right, let's go. Paper. Dude, you better win. Ooh, oh, nice. Yo, you hit, you covered up that rock. Like, how does, how does rock lose in a battle if you're just covered up by a piece of paper? Is it like tensile strength paper? Like, rock wins everything. Get out of here. All right, you're really good at this game. And then watch. It's going to default to blue because I need blue. That's my theory. Pink! Okay, theory busted, myth busted. Dang it, dude. What you need pink for? I'll do better next time. Uh, okay, that was good. It's cool to, um, you know, to say a specific amount of directions on stream and see exactly how that transcribes to what people say in the comments. That's actually fun for me. Almost as fun as calling Octavian Octavian. Hmm. Hmm. Almost as fun. It's not as fun, but uh, anyway, pink feathers. Yo, Pave, I'm ready. These are pinks, right? Whites, pink. Yo, I got three pinks, man. I wish I could find a rainbow feather in the sky. 
Okay, so we we won. We are two and zero right now. That's actually pretty good. I I thought that, you know, I thought we'd lose these games. Either you guys are rock paper scissors, magicians, or there's something else at play here. And it's too early to tell whether or not the game is giving me the wins. Like, is the game feeding me the dubs? Or are we legitimately winning them? It's too, it's too hard to tell. But we'll keep on playing. All right, get ready. We're going to put your feather against mine. And then if I lose, I can pluck your yellow feathers out of you. Because I need a couple yellow ones. All right. I will play. What game are we playing? ESP, where I got to jump through 33% and then jump through 20%. Dude, notice how they're not doing that this time around. All right, rock, paper, let's go. This one's going to be, uh, give me your three rock, paper, scissors, comma, separated, but with a smiley face emote at the end. No punctuation other than the comma separated. Go. Okay, so let's do this. Wow, Scoob 2016, the first one to do it. Excellent. Paper, rock, paper. Good job. Good listening skills. Good job. Paper, rock, paper. All right, don't let me down, Scoob. Get owned. I knew it. I knew it. It's okay, dude. Scoob, that just means... You got a super chat five bucks. Uh, did I not tell you or were you just not listening? Just kidding. You don't have to do that. Scoob, don't do it. It's fine. It's algorithm based. It's like, okay. It's kind of like a hot machine, right? Dude. Ah, Scoob, man. What you doing to me, guy? <laughs> I gotta find a feather, man. I don't want to pick up my feathers that are on the ground. Like, that's my stash. <clears throat> like, you gotta have, like, a savings. Oh, dude, I planted those flowers around that. I did. Those are mine. These are not mine. This is my house, though. Welcome to my gold mansion. Where you can have a golden door. Why can't you have a golden door and a golden facade in Animal Crossing New Horizons, huh? Why isn't that a thing? I love gold. Dude, my gold house is epic, man. You have to, like, put on sunglasses when you walk in there. Marshall. I don't really recognize this music all that much. Oh, there's a green feather. Uh, I gotta go get it. It's all the way on the beach, though. Uh, uh, uh. We'll run for feathers, right? And I do like that the confetti is still in the air, right? That's pretty cute. Dude! Okay, I was gonna say. Ooh! I got a wet feather now. Brown, 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 brown. Okay, I got myself a green feather. Now we got gambling fodder. So what, it's like it's like playing the slots, right? Which slot machines are pretty hot right now? Cause obviously that ostrich looking girl, that's a, that's a bad machine. Like we got some bad vibes off of that. But Joey, Joey, we won against Joey. So why wouldn't we? <gasps> Where's the megaphone? And there's a red feather. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm actually... Oh, and a purple dude twofer. Yo, check this out. Yoing. Oh. <laughs> you know what's actually funny about the animation for uh, swinging and missing with the, the little net over here? What's funny about it is if you miss, there's like a delayed pause where your Animal Crossing character has to think about what he just did. <laughs> watch, watch. <laughs> it's so silly. He's like, oh, I really did swing at nothing. Okay. <laughs> it pauses for a couple milliseconds too long, if you catch my drift. But uh, anyway, let's continue on. Uh, I thought that was very, very hilarious about this game. All right. You know what? Maybe we should play the new slots. 
Maybe we should play the uh, the new slots over here with Marshall. Marshall, Marshall. What's up, Marsha? What? Abdallah? That's not fair. You just... Oh, hey, hey, hey. No guilt trip. You're asking me why I'm dancing. Needs no reason. You'll play a game. I do have a purple feather. I want a blue one. Come on. No. I'm not taking my purple feather. It doesn't make me happy, but I have too much dancing to say sad. Pfft. Well, Marshall, sorry. I thought you'd default to blue, so I thought that there was some sort of algorithm that's pushing me towards getting the ones that Pave wants. But that's not the case. But here's the thing, though. I need to actually take a look and assess my stash. White feathers. Blues. This is green. I don't think I have a pile of pinks. Oh, I think I have a red pile. Oh, oh, okay, no, take that off, kid. I put a feather in my hair? What? Well, that's cool. I hope you can do that in Animal Crossing New Horizons. That'd be really fun. All right, all right, I gotta do these piles, man. I should make them alphabetical. This is actually very annoying to me. Green, right? I don't like that the icons are all the same icon when they could have clearly modeled something different, right? Red feather. All right, here we go. And then this is pink. Oh, so I got three pinks. Blue. <sighs> so I do have a little bit of gambling fodder in the form of a purple right now. So I'm hoping it win. Let's find Joey. You guys remember where my megaphone is? A toy hammer? Timer? Yes. Hey, Joey. Joey. There you are. Look at this. Joey. There you are. Now, is that not the coolest thing? <clears throat> How many of you guys struggle to find your villagers in your town? Introducing the Megaphone. The one quality of life change we'll never get in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Guess why? There's no built-in mic. Hmm. But if you download Nintendo Switch Online app, you can turn on voice chat and talk to your villagers anytime you want. Yeah, we absolutely need the megaphone. I mean, a megaphone can be made, right? Like, if you have the megaphone, you'd press the A button, and then a little pop-up would happen, and it would show all ten of your villagers. And you just choose whose who's name to yell. And then it does the little animation, a little thought bubble comes up, I'm over here! Like, it's easy to implement. So make it happen, Cap'n. All right, what are we playing? Rock, paper? All right, give me three. Comma separated with a fruit emoji at the end of it. How about that? Rock, paper, or scissors. Comma separated with a fruit emoji after it. And by doing so, I will allow you to gamble my feather that I worked really hard on catching. Go. All right. <clears throat> Scoob, you're disqualified. <clears throat> Lily Wolf? <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. Um, scissors, paper, rock with an apple. All right, scissors, paper, rock. Lily, this is for you. Lily, we're going to have a talk. Joey's slot machine is not hot anymore. Wow, do I want to play again with him? No, I don't want to play Joey's slot machine, man. Puddles, though. I have a purple in my inventory. Can you trade? Is it only rock, paper, scissors, man? Okay, here we go. Um, we're going to play another round. Uh, it's going to be give me three of them. And give me a... Hmm, give me a, an animal emoji afterwards. 
How about that? An animal emoji. And then you can gamble my last purple feather that I worked so hard to find. Rock, paper, scissors. An animal emote. Okay. Legend, you're very quick. Paper, rock, rock. Let's go paper. Okay. And you said rock afterwards. <clears throat> okay, we got a tie. Dude, you got it. Good job. Uh... Oh, dude, that's our, that's our blue feather that we wanted. Excellent work, legend. You rock. Now about the other two people that I got suggestions from. Hmm. No, I'm just messing around. I'm kidding with you guys. All right, let's go. So I got some blue feathers, blue feathers. Oh, blue feather hype in the chat. Let's go we. Give me one blue. Oh, he's asking for blue, right? He asked for purple first. <laughs> Hold on, doorbell rang. Give me a sec. Camera off. <clears throat> Thank you. What is this? What did we get? Oh man, this box is tiny, baby. This box is super tiny, baby. I ordered something from Amazon and uh, I got a little package. So anyway, let's do this. Uh, do you have feathers for Pave? I do. Uh, yes, yes, yes. You can see in your hand, you bought three perfect blue feathers. Can you have them? Uh, yeah, give them to Pave. Yeah, you can have them. Here you go. I've been working very, very hard on gambling for you, my master. This guy. Dude, Pave, man, he's like oof, bottom tier, dude. The feeling is so Pave right now. Must dance. Yes, Pave Prince, Pave Move, Pave Sway into the Groove. Cool. Festival. Yo, he says different things? Oh. Pave has cool dance moves, no? Pave likes you, so Pave gives you a Pave chair. Ah, now Pave not inspired to dance for anything less than red feathers. Oof. Red feathers. What do we have? Red feathers. I have two. Two red feathers. I need some fodder though. I need gamble fodder. I got purple for a gamble fodder. So yeah, we're doing we're doing really well. I got three pieces of pave furniture in an hour. That's not bad. The games seem a little bit more fair. I don't honestly know. I don't honestly. Joey. Oh man, who else am I gonna go? Hey, who should we call on the megaphone? Yeah. Let me know in the comments. Who actually has like a good odds? Who did we win a lot with? It's like playing the slot machines, right? Who? Puddles? Puddles. Puddles is the frog. All right, Puddles, come here. It says, hey, who's calling me? All right, Puddles. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Are you not gonna play now? I am feeling lucky. Dude, I wanted to play a game called Trade My Color for Your Color, not Gambling. All right, here we go. Give me, uh, give me three of your rock, paper, scissors, and the emote of choice is going to be... Wait, where's the rainbow feather? Oh, gosh. I'm just gonna pick rock, dude. I need to find this rainbow feather. Hurry, 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 hurry. Go, 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 go. I'm not gonna, we're not playing games. You said Rainbow Feather. I don't know where it is. Yo, triple rock, dude. Let's go. I don't need pink. Yo, where? Where did you see the, where did you see the rainbow? Where? North, south, east, west. Dude, you guys are insane. Are you guys like actually just trolling me right now? Give me a landmark. 
Where was it? High right angle. Dude, no way. I'm scouring. I have too many trees, man. You gotta cut these trees down, skis. Did you guys see it again? No, no. You guys are crying wolf, man. It's all good. It's cool. It's all good. Yo, oh, that's a feather. I'll take that. That's gamble. White feather. Nice. I needed a white feather. Hmm. Joey, have you heard about a stray rainbow feather floating around these parts? Because the comment section never lies. Ever. Yo, Sasha, what up? Hey, how are you today? Thank you so much for upgrading to the fire flower tier. Everyone welcome Sasha. Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? All right, I'm I'm not seeing any feathers flying around, but I am going to get rid of my white one because my white one is almost a full set and I don't want to jeopardize my full set like at all. Purple, like I got three pinks over here, so I can I can gamble with pink because I have a full set. I'll get rid of purple, but I need like one more red. A red would be good, right about now. Anytime now. Anytime now, game. All right, let's go into town hall. Let's refresh the area and then let's see what's up. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 ba down, boom. Ah, Joey. We seem to be winning a lot with puddles, right? So I'm gonna go find puddles again. Puddles. Puddles. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Alright, Puddles. Alright, I do have a feather. You're gonna trade for a yellow feather? I'll do it because I like you. I don't need a yellow feather, but sure. It's cool. Alright, Puddles is a really good dancer. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. All right, Phoebes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna trade for your red feather. You didn't see that, but this is win. This is absolutely, and that's a purple one right there that's flying over by my head. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Out of my way, out of my way, out of my way. Don't talk to me, don't talk to me. I'm gonna yell at that feathered. <laughs> Dude, all right, all right, we got enough for another set. Ooh, ooh, I actually planted those yellows there. I did. <gasps> A yellow. Okay, I've got I've got some fodder to gamble with. I do. I like this. The villagers aren't offering to take my stuff either. It's only feathers v feathers, and it's not uh, it's not using any money either. So I'm, I'm down with that. Okay, this is a purple. Oh, I got another perps. Okay, purple's there. I'm gonna take red. 
So now I got my three reds. I'm also going to dip the yellow. I'm gonna dip the yellow. And I got my three reds in the inventory. So here we go. Hello, pa oh. Okay. Hello, Pavre. Get ready to dance and you better say something new because it's the third time. I gave you nine feathers in an hour. Uh, little Mr. No Dance has a gorgeous soul. Oh, man. Wow. I've got a gorgeous soul? That's very nice of you. Time to shine. Yes. Pave dance. Pave play. Pave rock the night away. Burning festival. It's like a super move that he throws out. Like a beam like in Dragon Ball or something. Huzzah! Huh. Huh. Pave is just too hot. Pave is generous and attractive, so Pave will give you his Pave in table. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Tilly Love, thank you for the super chat. Totally make sure to say the comments never lie. Okay, maybe we'll keep it in uh, in our minds for next time. As long as you'll buy one, absolutely. And then we had a, another brand new member, uh, Frederica. Hello, how are you? Welcome today. So glad to have you. What color does this clown want? Look at you, you're featherless like a dog. Pave knows you can catch fluffy floating feathers. Pave wants blue feathers. Dude, come on, I gave you blue feathers before. What about these? What about three pinks? What about three whites? Come on, mm, guy. Get a load of this guy right here, man. All right, we'll play. You know, I don't know. I, I don't think I want to play anymore. I'm good. Uh, let's go put our items. Let's go put our pave items inside the house and see what they look like. And then uh, we'll call it a live stream. We'll call it a live stream. And uh, we should have a good, good time. Boom, 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 boom. Pave's feathers. Whoa, nasty. Ugh. Actually, I like the gold and orange aesthetic. I do. I just don't like the Halloween set. I like the music, though. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, don't give me that. Put that back. Put that trophy back, man. I need those feng shui points. Best music. Is that KK Ryder? Okay, so we have a Pave clock. All right, you guys want to see Pave clockage? Clock you up on the head. Whoa, what? When is this a thing? I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know how to do full room decorating in Animal Crossing New Leaf. How? That wasn't, that wasn't in my Animal Crossing game, that's for sure. Oh, the Pave wall clock, it looks exactly like a Pave wall clock. Here is the bookshelf. For... Yo, with it comes with books on how to dance and how to say pave. Here's a pave chair. Whoa, it's a grandpa's chair. Previously seen in your grandpa's house. Uh, pave furniture is trash. Here's a pave end table. Oh, looks like your grandma's end table. Complete with the crocheted doily on top, or whatever that thing's called. Nah, man. Sorry. Wow. These items are something. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Cool, yeah? Yeah, you like them. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this chair, dude. Yo, good chair. Look at this thing. Excuse me, may I help you? It's a draping doily? Yo, why does it, why does it drape? What if I want to put something over there? Nasty, dude. Heck no. What is this called? 
And that clock? No way. I'll stick to the gold stuff, man. Yo, I'm going to bed. Pave, man. Dude, I don't know. I don't actually know what's going to happen with Pave stuff. It's a weird, uh, it's definitely a, and... <laughs> Uh, you know, okay, okay. Minimal co color, for sure. I can see, I can see this right here as being a feathered design. I can see that. If you, like, blur your eyes a little bit, I can see that this can be construed as, like, feathered pattern. I'll give it that. But, like, dude, do we want these, like, antique sofa-looking things? No, we don't. I'm sure that in Animal Crossing, you have something like this already. Don't you? Guys, that's it. Am I gonna go over here and try to get all of Pave's different things? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It is not, it is not a fun event by any means. It's actually bad. But here's the thing, right? Okay, here's what we have to learn, right? We have to do the retrospective. And the retrospective is, oh, hold on. I need some visuals. Let me uh, get my visuals really quick. Okay, here we go. Here we go, visuals. I'm a visual learner, what can I say? All right, so here we go. So taking a look at it. City folk, extra emphasis on the L. City folk <clears throat> was really rough. Whoa, whoa, weird, the adjusting of the lighting, okay. You know what? Yeah, yeah, we're good. So City Folk is really rough, right? Because you did straight gambling and the odds of you winning were incremental slim to none. If there wasn't an automatic pity rate that would let you win the entire time, which was one of my theories. If you guys didn't already watch the City Folk video, you need to go watch that now and get caught up and watch how I got assaulted and I've got robbed point blank. Dude. One of my villagers took out an ax and threatened me for my froggy chair. You need to go watch it. Anyway, so this was this was really rough because like you had to do all sorts of gambling in order to get the candy. And the candy came in different colors too. So it's kind of like the feathers. And there wasn't like a rainbow candy that automatically gave you one. It was just like, oh, here, you need candy. And then you needed three candy. So you had to win these games that had incrementally very, very low odds of winning in order to get a candy. But was it the candy that you needed? No. Right, so then this game comes along, Animal Crossing on 3DS, New Leaf, and they rectified it, right? The villagers don't steal your items, they don't steal your bells, it's just one for one, and if you're lucky enough, they'd be able to trade you some things. And they invented the concept of a rainbow, like a wild card, that you could just give to Pave. But it's still kinda lame, because then you need three of something, and playing the games in order to get the feathers and going around and catching the feathers, like, I like that. I think they improved on that for sure. Because if you really wanted to, you can play absolutely zero games and just run around your entire island collecting feathers and then getting everything. It's possible. Is it fun? Yeah, sure. Playing the games was, uh, I don't know, it's just like gambling, right? Win some, you lose some. But I don't know. I think they improved it for sure. And I think that Pave did like better dances. I mean, they had time, they had time to improve it, right? Like how many years was it? This is 2012, 2013, and this is 2008. So they had five years to figure it out. So I think that they did it well. I think they did it well. So now the question is, what is going to happen in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. What are they going to do? They're going to downplay gambling. They're going to downplay gambling because that's unacceptable behavior in 2021, especially in video games. So I don't think that... Are there going to be games that you can play with your villagers? Yes. But I don't think that you're going to be able to leave empty-handed. As in like, hey, you know, maybe we'll do the feather thing. Like, I think that's, I think that's a thing, right? Finding the feathers in midair can be as easy to program as, you know, if you see like those maple leaves or something, right? The maple leaves. This music is bothering me now. Sorry. Um, da -da 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 -da. Anyway, so you know how the maple leaves, the sakura petals, the snowflakes all just kind of float around? 
I think that's exactly what they're going to do. That's my prediction. They're going to take all sorts of feathers, just like it was in Animal Crossing, New Leaf, and then you're going to find all the colors. And there's also going to be the rainbow one that instantly gives you stuff. And I think Pave will give you, he'll give you like the little headdress. That's definitely going to be a confirmed item. 100% I'll put money on that. Um, and then I think he's going to, I think he's going to bust out a furniture set. There's got to be something. Don't you think? All right, get ready. So that's what it's going to be. You're going to be able to play games. You're going to be able to play games. And um, you're not going to be able to lose your feathers. It's just going to be like, oh, sorry, you didn't win. And then that was it. Right? Like you play games for feathers. And if you lose, you don't get anything. If you win, you get a feather. I think that's what it has to be. In order to mitigate the gambling aspect of the game, that's what it is. And I'm going on record saying it right now. Boom. Anyway, so that's it. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode of Animal Crossing Retrospective. I'm excited for the new stuff. Uh, I'm excited to hang out with you guys even more and do some more Animal Crossing. Like, I absolutely am. I love playing Animal Crossing with you. So um, I think one of the next things that we'll do is get back to building our town. And then I also want to do some island tours. I haven't done island tours in a little bit. So it'd be something good to bring back for the weekends. And I would love to visit whatever islands you guys want to come on board with. So again, if you guys want to become a member, feel free to do that. We'll jump you in line, all that fun stuff. But yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And speaking of members, that's uh, my other thing. This is the right thing. Um, speaking of members, shout outs to all the VIP members. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, we're doing our VIP meetup where we jump on like a Discord call with webcam and mic and everything like that and we just hang out and we do a little bit of an ask me anything. We're gonna be doing that this upcoming weekend. So now's your time. If you guys wanna consider becoming a VIP member, you can upgrade or just go to it outright. It's gonna be really fun. There's details on my community tab post in case you're curious about that. It's just a fun thing that we do every month just to kind of give back and add more value to membership on the channel. So I appreciate all of you guys that are part of that. Um, other than that, thanks so much for being here. You guys are amazing. Hit that subscribe button. We just recently hit 864. So shout outs to all of you uh, for doing that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a great rest of your day. And I hope to see you guys sometime very, very soon in the future. We don't know when this uh, Animal Crossing update is going to drop, but make sure that you guys are subscribed and turn on notifications because we're going to dissect everything you need to know about this Pave and Festival update when it drops at Animal Crossing New Horizons. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.